It is now July 2nd, and these hookah culture terrace mounds <laughs> were constructed between March and April, so I'm just now getting around to narrating this footage, and I began these terraces by pretty much digging a trench to place organic matter into it, since the soil is pretty bland, um, very compact, not very rich at all in nutrients. I have added in the nutrients of the forest um, in addition to food scraps. Um, I'm vegan, so I got a lot of those. So there's decaying leaves, moist logs, um, ash from the wood burning stove, and also, like a lot of these larger logs um, created the majority of the volume for each of these terrace mounds. So I just kind of wedged them in there and placed them as I could. Um, if they were too big, I broke them up. And there's something else to be mindful of when you're going to break these things. Watch your face. I wasn't thinking and I was trying to rush. I mean, thankfully, my reflexes were there for me. But nobody wants to lose an eyeball to a log. So just be mindful from this incident as I learned after the fact and I suggest maybe finding an alternate method for uh, breaking a log down. <laughs> Either way, um, continuing along, I just filled up the volume of the mound to be with all the food that I wanted the plants to feast upon and I just backfilled over it and so this area that I'm working on now is just flourishing with Queen Anne's lace, mullein. I, lot of, I let a lot of natural cultivator plants kind of inhabit these mounds, and I did not nitpick them or pull them out as if they were weeds because they're helping me cultivate the soil and adding shade to keep the underneath, you know, um, soil life moist and you know unbleached by the sun. This entire area that I've installed these terraces on is just getting beat by the sun constantly and water will roll down it like nobody's business so aerating the soil and breaking it up was definitely a must so I pretty much just backfilled all the soil that was removed to create the trench on top of the organic matter that I placed in that trench and then just as you can see I just walking across it kind of making it compact so it's not sliding off and you know that became the first you know stair step of the terrace right now these look bland <laughs> I'll have some before and after pictures they are thriving the fruits and veggies absolutely love it and at the base of these terraces I created yet another trench because I had the idea of pretty much kind of creating a rain garden slash reinforcement because we have an abundance of stone around here, if you didn't notice. Um, <laughs> we're near the Ozarks, so there's, you know, plenty, plenty of rock everywhere. You get rocks in your shoes just walking outside. So <laughs> that is definitely like a wonderful free resource if that's something you have. If not, you can always use wood or, you know, I'm sure be creative. There's <laughs> tons of different things you can work with. Um, but I took rocks and pretty much placed them in these trenches to, again, like I said, reinforce what I had already mounded up. And then also any plant life, which there's actually plant life growing all on it now, um, had kind of a different little ecosystem at which to grow because it's shaded by everything that's now growing on these mounds and it's kind of got its own you know its own little environment down there in this rock trench so that's been very beneficial I actually had some watercress growing in um, one of the nooks and crannies of it which I'll um, put a picture up of that so as you can see, I mean, this was just using the resources I had and my labor. Nothing fancy. Uh, you can do it yourself. I mean, this soil is definitely a challenge to work through, but it was invigorating. Uh, I absolutely feel so accomplished. I'm getting towards the goal of being more self-sufficient, more sustainable. Definitely, you know, uh, 
my self-esteem is going up when I see I can do things for myself. I'm completely capable of anything I want to do, just like you.